Oh, it's you. Welcome back. My name is Hamilton. Let's jump into the Bitcoin charts right here, right now. Uh, we can actually see that a uh, little bit different on, on the old video today. We can see ATR in the bottom and ATR in the bottom. Uh, this bottom ATR is the traditional ATR. And then this top ATR is actually uh, ATR plus linear regression. All right. So linear regression is something you guys know I'm a massive fan of. Okay. It just helps, especially with Bitcoin as an asset, determine determine uh, what's going on in terms of volatility, in terms of general growth of the asset, in terms of momentum when we do get breakouts. Uh, linear regression is perfect, particularly in crypto, okay? Uh, so what can we see right here, right now, uh, compared to what we just looked at? I did just delete this, but let's just get this back real quick. Uh, so the difference between this is obviously you can see this a lot better, right? Um, we're going to look at this right now because where it is right now, potentially means that Bitcoin could have a monstrous, massive, girthy move towards the up or downside, depending on this, right? So this is essentially plotting in volatility, okay? Uh, and with volatility, you can see it's pretty low here on the ATRs. So uh, what happened the last time we were this low on a weekly, what was the price? We can see that the price was roughly around 800 bucks. You can see that on your screen, right? Yeah, cool. Uh, what happened after that when we broke out towards the upside? We actually banged that up all the way to $20,000 Bitcoin, okay? That was the, the length of this run on the ATR anyway, right? So the fact that we're back here again uh, is, is generally a good sign. There's going to be many, many strategies that we can use to trade this if it does want to go on a run that's similar. I'm not saying it's going to be the same kind of length. That's a crazy, crazy percentage move towards the upside, okay, from 800 bucks all the way to 20k. But it does mean that we could potentially get a massive move soon, all right? So this is a 2,000% move. Can't really complain there. I don't think we'll get something that big. But if we are just looking at our, uh, again, linear regression style wedges coming through with each cycle of Bitcoin, uh, what we can say here is uh, if we were to go on a run towards the upside to the top of this uh, of this wedge structure, right, it's about 250%, uh, and that would leave Bitcoin at around $92,000. Do I think we get up there? Probably not. And you guys know as well. Uh, oh, my uh, my bull market barrier seems to have disappeared. OK, let's just get that back real quick. Uh, but bull market barrier is going to be a key barrier here for the bull market. And that is currently around 36K. OK, so do I think we get a run up to 36K? I think it's quite likely if we break upwards, right? Um, the fact that we're down here means that we're, we're pretty close to a pretty monstrous move, right? Uh, it's not just a quick 5% move towards the up or downside, although we have planned for that with our trade that I'll get into in a minute, right? You do not want to miss that. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But uh, as of right now, there, there is a path upwards and there is indications that this is going to be a wave of substantial momentum okay we're talking about beefy trades towards the up or downside whether we do end up at like 10k bitcoin uh, or 60k bitcoin it doesn't really matter what matters is we are completely coiled up think about like a spring pushing a spring down right we're completely coiled up right now uh, in which we are going to explode in a direction okay i can't tell you what direction that will be but i can tell you it's going to happen soon and i can tell you we're going to make a lot of money all right that's the plan anyway all all right. Uh, thank you for liking the video, by the way, guys. I'm going to be doing a webinar this Thursday. Uh, if you are interested, it's going to be completely free strategy uh, on the one hour. So you can make up to 100% a month uh, very, very easily. And there are people doing this right now who have attended the webinar. So feel free to sign up for that in the description. Newmoneynetwork.net slash webinar. OK, uh, with that said and done, if we do get a move towards the upside, to 36k uh, i can still see a short coming through here uh, off of this bull market barrier we know this is just the top thing right uh, this places in all of the tops for bitcoin throughout its entire history uh, whether we're in a bear market or a bull market right uh it's fantastic. Obviously, if we're above it, then it's pl plotting in the bottoms, and it's a great way to tell that we've broken structure and the bull market's over, right? You can see here when we broke 43K, I know a lot of you guys were in your trades, uh, even taking longs up here at 30K, uh, and then staying in your trades despite all this saying it's everyone in the market was saying this was a, a pullback, right? And to buy the dip, right? <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you had the bull market barrier, which is completely free on trading, you saw me add it to my, my stream right there, right? 
my screen right there, uh, you can see that, yes, uh, you could have got out way earlier as this structure broke. Uh, and yeah, I know a lot of you guys even held your long positions down to like 20k. That's pretty gnarly, bro. That's pr pretty gnarly. But um, yeah, if you have the bull market barrier, you can stop that. And the bull market barrier, in this case, the present day, uh, we can actually see that it does plot in the tops very, very nicely. So if we do want to get a top put in around here, 36k, I will be looking to bang in a short. We're talking about banging in a short, not even a little sprinkle of a short. Bang that bad boy in, make the dollar, okay? Full degen. All right. Uh, what we will say with this is uh, let's let's go to the trade that I'm looking for right now. OK, the trade I'm looking for right now is we do approach the five minute mark on this video. If you have liked it, thank you very much. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing in there. All right. Let me know how you're doing. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, but yeah, we can see here that we do have a beautiful channel, right? This channel is based on the weekly chart. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got something in my nose, so I'm just going to pick that on the camera. But um, yeah, we can see that on the weekly chart here, uh, we actually have a beautiful little uh, channel being drawn in here. So we got this low here, we got this low here, we got this high here, this high here, uh, and that's all you need, okay? That's all you need for a pattern. Uh, I would like to see this week end above like, I don't know, 26K, something ar around there, so we can confirm this low with candle bodies, okay? So it makes it more valid, and then the measure move to either side is more valid for us to take trades, right? But as of right now, I'm actually happy taking a trade towards a downside if we break 25,100. If we break 25,100, uh, it's all bets are off for the bull market. Okay, let's bang a short in. Let's throw this down. Let's take profit at each of these important levels. And I'll talk to you about these levels right now uh, as we do go down to the hourly here. Uh, you can see that the WAD machine, uh, the 2023 version that isn't out yet, but I will be giving it to all of you guys that have bought the lifetime subscription previously. All right. Uh, and then I'll be giving it to anyone else um, when I release this, right? When I release this uh, and you, you bought anything from me, uh, this will be usually included, right? Because uh, it's great. It's a great indicator for beginners, okay? But anyway, this is plotting in the uh, the supports and resistances, right? So we've got resistances here, beautiful stuff. Uh, and it's actually plotted it in perfectly along the way down. And the way it gets this is just from the lows and the highs, right? Whatever you need, higher highs, higher lows, fantastic. But it's going to plot these lines in until it breaks them, okay? So, um, as of right now, we do have very, very important levels highlighted by this indicator. Okay, so we got one down here. Uh, if we just move this out of the way, you can see it, right? One down there in which we'll be hitting our first take profit. So if we do find this short here and we break uh, 25 1, we'll be entering that short. We'll be taking profit at uh, 24 8, right? We're going to be taking our second low to take profit at 24,000. All right, and then below that, oh, I've just moved everything. There we go. And then below that, we're going to have one at 23.1. Okay, this has changed from the last video because I've actually adjusted it to this indicator, which I finished uh, yesterday, I believe. I, I let you guys know in the Telegram. It was either yesterday or the day before. Um, but yeah. 8% trade there all the way down to 23k and then the final take profit the closing of the trade will be at 224 and you guys know why we picked that 224 level okay it's just an important level here uh, coming through if we do bring this up uh, it's it's where the bottom of this wedge is if we do want to take our time getting down there uh, it's a fantastic area here uh, it's also the bottom of the measure move here as you can see uh, on this ginormous channel so it does make sense for us to have that there congruently uh, and then we have the production cost also coming in somewhere around there as well if this is going to load hello hello it's not loading uh let me just get rid of that for oh it's, it's actually gone that's weird production cost okay well I'll, I'll figure that out but um yeah that's that's also around 22.4 okay uh so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that but that's going to be the key area to watch for bitcoin if we go below there i will be buying that thing every single day because i believe it's it's the water level right you throw anything in the water and it floats it's going to pop up the other side uh, and that level for me is around 22.4 uh, based on all of those things i just talked about okay uh, but besides that that's pretty much going to be the video if we do want to bang up towards the upside and break 31 or 32k then uh, there is a massive trade all the way up to the bull market barrier, as you can see there. So uh, that's going to be something that we can eye up in the future. But as of right now, we are chilling. We're waiting for this short. It's looking more and more bearish. So we are just going to wait for that. And uh, and hopefully it comes in. Hopefully we can get in this trade. I'm not really interested in taking a trade around this area, guys. Anyone that's telling you to find trades here, they don't know what they're talking about. This is a ridiculous area, okay? Uh, the only trade you could probably find is uh, with the sideways money indicator 
or some kind of ranging indicator uh, layering in uh, basically a grid bar, right? Uh, so layering in buys here, sales here, and then as we oscillate, then uh, it's just filling those orders and making you money, right? But the issue with this right now is it's quite late in the range, okay? This has been ranging for a while now, like half a month, okay? So it's not something that I'm gonna be beginning any grid bot strategies with right now. Uh, I'm just gonna be waiting for this breakout, which is due, okay? Uh, we do have volume uh, increasing now again, all right? So that's that's important. We got volatility coming up as well. Uh, very, very nice actually uh, to see volatility rise like this. It means the move could potentially be healthy when this breaks out, okay? Whenever we see this rise uh, in a nice, healthy way uh, on the, uh, breakout machine and that's also a fantastic sign in terms of manual trading and seeing if the momentum is good okay uh, besides that if this volume uh does this blue uh, volume moving average does go below the others it's indica indicative of uh of sideways action so we could coil up one more time before going uh but besides that yeah we've got this atr band on the weekly literally at the lows uh, and the last time we were there very very important big upwards momentum wave here and we can see the same thing on the daily here if we are just going to zoom out here and we're just going to go right to the bottom where we are right now okay because it's going to be a different level on, on a different time frame right but every time we're at this bottom level uh, i can just show you guys right every time i mean this is the example we were just on on the weekly but yeah massive run up okay uh, we had a massive move here yeah you can see here the 6k drop massive move when we hit this level okay uh, we can see here as well just before we start another bull run okay and now we're just taking this level again last time we hit this level was actually in january this year before we went on our massive run to 30k okay so yes this is correlative this is something you don't want to be ignoring and it is a free indicator okay i forgot to mention that but it's the atr linear regression feel free to search the app on indicators and add that to your chart this is super important but one thing i'm highlighting here for you guys today is we are at these very very low levels and we should be expecting a massive wave in one direction very very soon whether it's up or down cannot tell you but what i will say is i mean all the boxes are ticked we have a move coming very very soon the next week or so so uh just be ready for it subscribe to the channel uh sign up for the webinar so you know how to actually trade with trending markets and make a hundred bucks a day easily okay uh, and then we are good to go and i'll see you in the next one all right so have a fantastic day um like the video leave me a comment let me know what you thought of this analysis and uh, i'll see you guys very very soon peace out and goodbye